Okay, tonight we're connecting GitPod and GitHub. So we're going to create a new repo. We're going to name it GitPod dash repo. We're going to keep it public and then we're going to click add a readme file and then create repository. That's going to create a new repository on GitHub. Then we're going to go into the address bar and we're going to type out HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash gitpod.io forward slash hash in front of that GitHub and then push enter. And then that is going to take us directly into GitPod. We're going to click continue with GitHub and then we're going to authorize GitPod. That's going to actually make a connection between um, our accounts. We're going to put our first and last name and then continue with the 10 hours per month. You can select whatever theme you want. I like dark. Continue. Um, select these options, whatever is relevant for you. Um, I work in whatever that is and then push continue. Then um, we're going to push continue to start a new workspace. Now, if you're like me, you might have to validate your phone number or your account. So I had to do my validation code. Just go through that process and then validate your account. And then your account will have been created. Then you can go into your new workspace. And from there, it is going to take you into a Git pod area. So it's actually going to give you the ability to start to edit the code in the repository that you made on GitHub since the connection is there. You'll notice here that this is the readme. It puts Git pod repo in there. So we're just going to type some stuff in here. And this is going to be uh, on my first commit. And then we're going to save that file, um, command S, and then we're going to go into the terminal and we're going to do a get status. This is going to show us the status of the um, things that are modified. We're going to add them. Then we're going to commit them and put a message on it. So um, this actually tells GitPod, hey, we're doing our git commands. We see it and then we do git push origin main, um, but then we get an error. That's because we need to go to GitPod and update some stuff. So we're going to click on GitPod and we're going to stop this workspace. We're going to go to our dashboard. Then we're going to click on our profile image and then click on user settings. We're going to go to get providers and then see GitHub there. Click on those three dots and then edit permissions. And we're just going to select all of these permissions so that that gives us read write access to all of our repos. We're going to update permissions, authorize GitPod IO. Then we're going to go back to our workspace, click on the repo we were in. We're going to try these commands again, git push origin main. You'll see we don't have any errors. It actually is pushing to main. So if we go and refresh on GitHub, we'll see that the updates are actually inside of the repo. Yay. Now we're going to make a branch, which is what you should always do. So the branch command git checkout dash B name the branch. So we're going to call it new branch. Going to put us on that branch. We're going to make some changes inside of the file. Um, I had some additional um, changes in here so we can kind of see what it looks like. Um, and then we're going to save those. Then we're going to get at, do a git status. So we see that changes were made in the readme. We're going to get add dash A. And we're going to get commit and we're going to put a message on here, which is to never commit on the main branch. Make sure you're always, always, always on a new branch whenever you're doing this. Um, and then we're going to push. So we're going to get push origin new branch or the branch name. And then you'll see it does its thing. We're going to go to GitHub and you'll notice in GitHub that it says that we have a new branch. Here we're going to create something called a pull request. So basically this is going to uh, try to save this onto the main branch. It's kind of like, hey, it's on the computer. Hey, we want to make these changes and we want to merge those in. But before we do that, let's go to the code and we'll see on the main branch that there's nothing there. That change is not there. But if we go on the new branch, you see that the change we have is there, um, which is what the merge is going to be. So now we're going to go to the pull request. We're going to merge the pull request, confirm it. Then we're going to go back to the code. Um, we see that on the new branch is still there. We're going to go to main branch and we see, oh, look, now the new line of code is on there. Um, and then we're going to check out our main branch inside of um, Git pod. And then we're going to get pull origin main, which is going to pull down all of the changes. And look, now it's there on the main branch. That's it.